TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Another way to enter an HMI into a TIA portal is to, instead of using the portal view down here, what you can do is you can actually click Add New Device. So you double click there, and this will bring you to that Add New Device window. Then what you want to do is go ahead through and select all of the basic things that were selected before in Unit 3.1. And what you want to do is you want to come over here and hit OK. This will boot it up. What we want to do here is instead of selecting the PLC and actually what this would do is actually connect you to the actual PLC, you can do that and it would actually allow you to do that. But I want to show you a different way here. So go ahead and hit finish. And you can see that screen popped up right here. Okay, so this is a split screen. So you can actually bring this up and you can actually see the split screens here. Or you can just bring it out to here. You drop it in. Drop right here. It's over here. Go ahead and exit out of here. And now you can actually just see the HMI screen right here all by itself. Okay, so we can exit out of here. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up Devices and Networks. Double click that. Okay. And as you can see, you can see the PLC here and the HMI when you're in the network view. All right. But you can also go to the device view and select which device you want to look at. Now, in this setup, we have an HMI and a Siemens PLC. But you can have multiple devices on here, including multiple HMIs, multiple PLCs. Uh, PLCs. You can have VFD drives on here. There's a lot of different things you can have. So we're going to select the HMI device here and we're going to zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. And what you can do is you can double click and that will bring up different properties down here at the bottom of the device itself. So the author and who's here. Select this. You can go to IP. You can actually figure out what the IP address is of this device and what it's set to. So you have that information, what the submask is, things like that. There's a lot of different information that you can get um, by doing that in this. Now, once you've actually created the HMI in this virtual reality that is TIA portal, what you can do is you can go to Network View. And what you can do is you can actually decide what PLC is networked to what HMI if you have multiple PLCs or multiple HMIs. So to do this, what we would do is we can just come here, grab, grab this, and drag it over to that Ethernet port right there. And zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And as you can see here, the PLC and the HMI are now networked together and they're ready to operate. At this point, we would be ready to actually program in something for in the PLC and then we could actually know that it would tag to the HMI.